Okay, so uh, today I wanted to do a little review on a pretty cool product. Well, at least I. Well, it's a uh, it's the smart it's the smart tree, um, and it's a it's a smart tree hard carrying case. This is the N six hundred for Nintendo Switch, and it fits two Pro controllers. Um, and so I wanted to do a, a review on this little product. And so I'm going to do my impressions on it. So as you can see, here's a picture of it. And I'm going to show you how everything fits together, if it fits well, if it doesn't. And let's see. So this is what the case looks like. Overall, I'd say it's a very sturdy case. Uh, you can definitely, like, it's definitely not made out of cheap material. Uh, that's, it's very nice in that regard. Let's just open this up. Uh, you can see in here, it's very nice. This is where you can supposedly put an iPhone 6, which I have, but, oh, wait, you're filming with it. And uh, it does fit in there. I have tried that before. It does fit. Game cards fit in here nicely. Um, in here, you, you have room to like uh, you know your cables or whatever um, over here there's room for the dock the switch uh, uh, pro controllers and so this is my current case you can see this is why I take all my stuff around it's just, just a big backpack and I'm using the original boxes for stuff and so I'm just gonna start putting stuff in here just see how everything fits and so we got this controller. This is the Joy-Con grip with the got the pink Joy-Cons, Splatoon Joy-Cons. So that goes right here. Let's see that fits in pretty nicely. Um, let's see what else we got in here. Let's pull out a Pro controller. You can see. Just using the original boxes right now. Let's take that out. And Pro controller goes right here. Alright, now this one is kind of a tight fit, but let me grab that camera for just one second. I just want to show this. It's kind of a tight fit. You can see it's it's not really, it's not pushing against the, oh actually that's as far as it goes, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, so it's in there alright. Yeah, so that's, that's okay. Um, it's not, it's not moving the joysticks when it's in there like it's tight but it's not like you know pushing them up or anything so that's good um all right and then let's see give that camera back to you <laughs> yeah and then let's see so then let's do the um let's put in another pro controller this is and we got the splatoon 2 pro controller which is my personal favorite splatoon 2 is a really fun game all right, so, oh, and it comes with a little thing for wiping off the screen. Put that over here for now. All right, so then the other Pro Controller goes right here. And this, I think this one's actually a better fit. It's not as tight, but it's like it's still not going to move around. Um, yeah, and then a little strap for carrying it around. Um, and then let's see here, where did I put that dock? Oh, put it over here, hold on. All right, and this is the official dock, so we don't have any problems with the bricking stuff. And that just goes like that, so that fits in there nicely. Um, and then over here, that's where we put the the charging cable. That's this thing. And we put that in there. And that also fits nicely. And obviously, if you had like you know one of those, uh, actually, I have one. We have one of these things where you just take out the insides of the dock and then this is still the official dock it's just in a different case you can see it's a lot smaller than this one so you know obviously if you put like this in here you can fit more stuff in there but I'm just gonna do the official dock for now since that's probably what most people have so I'll put that in there okay and then now this this is where your switch can go and it's advertised um, you can see on here, 
and see right there now it's advertised that you can use a switch um, without the uh, without the 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 hard uh, plastic case or you can do it with the plastic case and I the one of the reasons why I bought this was it just seemed like it was for me because it I have the hard plastic case and I um, and I have an iPhone 6 which you know fits right there <laughs> it's kind of funny that they mentioned that but anyway so as you can see I do have the hard case and it looks exactly the same as the picture um, and so when you when you use the hard case you want to take out this little insertion so I'm gonna try to fit it in let's see oh, that's really tight wow okay that's okay now that's a really tight fit and I'm putting it in the right direction yeah to see they're having the buttons face out wow that's a really tight fit I don't like this oh wow I'm gonna get this out oh man okay yeah and seeing this thing is not okay so I'm I'm going to guess that this thing is not meant for the for this thing so I'm gonna take this off take off this, uh, this thing definitely not gonna to want to do this every time that I in here. Alright, so I'm going to put this insertion back in so it fits better. Yeah, okay, now that, okay, that fits, that fits like a glove without the case, so that's probably a little bit of false advertisement. I mean, I guess you can fit it in there if you push hard enough, but uh, man, is that a tight fit. I would, I, it feels like I'm going to rip off the Joy-Cons when I take it out, and especially when these things are already kind of temperamental and they um, they kind of break and then they just slide off. So I've had that happen to me a few times. Um, okay, so that's definitely a down for this case. But uh, besides that, um, let's see. Oh yeah, and then I guess I could might as well try to record in here since that's something that they show. So here's the official HDMI cable. I'll just put that inside of this little thing right here. <laughs> just because we can and it seems like there's more room for that so that's a good thing there's room there um, now one thing I'm a little concerned about is I don't know if these buttons are gonna be pressed when I close it so let me just try this let me just try to turn on the switch and I'm just gonna connect all of these let's see here um, probably the easiest way to do that is using a USB-C to USB-C cable. So I'm just going to quickly connect all of these controllers and sync them up to the switch because we we have several switches and so I'm just going to, these ones probably aren't synced to the switch so I'm just going to sync them real quick. Sync this thing to this one. Yep, there we go. Alright, so now everything's synced. All right, I'm gonna turn off the switch, or just put it in sleep mode so then all the controllers turn off. And I'm gonna leave the switch out. And I'm gonna, let's see, I'm gonna turn it back on. Let's go into controllers and settings. Let's see here. Let's do change grip and order. I'm just gonna try shutting this. I'm just gonna see if any of these try to connect when it's shut. So, oh, all right, there's the Splatoon 2 Pro controller right off the bat. I'm just, let's see, I'm just, uh, just shut this like this. Oh, looks like the, oh, look at that. So there you go. So everything's connected, uh, except the left Joy-Con and the grip. But yeah, so this is obviously pushing the buttons. So that's a problem. And I wasn't, I mean, I wasn't, like, I'm pushing on it now. But, uh, but like before, I was just, like, you know, shutting it. Um, you know, just, like, put it down and then pulling it shut so it's it's kind of a bummer it's kind of it's a really it's a really tight fit um so i guess that it is so i guess basically what's happening is it is it is pushing these uh these shoulder buttons a little bit on all the controllers um so that could be kind of an issue uh well, i guess i didn't put in any uh any joy con grips in here let's see if i have some of these yep do I have like a million joy cons so <laughs> should have a few of these these things yes yeah, so then I guess this will be the last thing to do um, and then we'll just put this in here and this be kind of like the 
I guess technically there are micro SD card slots in here, but I mean, if you just buy a big micro SD card, I don't know why you would carry an extra one of these around. But uh, yeah, yeah, there are there are little little slits in here that I'm sure they'd fit. But uh, yeah, so that's everything that uh, that's kind of how it fits together. I don't I don't I think I'm gonna <laughs> go with my I think I'm gonna stick with my original case unless I find a new backpack that's a little nicer. Um, I just don't like it how these shoulder buttons are pushed uh, and also you can tell I have like a ton of other stuff that I like to throw in here and like you know extension cables and uh, you know who knows what adapters and so I don't think those would really fit in here um, you know I mean I have the one cable in here and it's not really taking up that much room so I guess I could put more but uh, especially with how these things are being pushed the buttons um, I don't think I'd want to do that. And I actually tried this before and I, uh, um, well, you know, I guess we could try, we could see if the buttons are still pushed even when the, when the cable's out. I tried it before and it seemed like it did, but uh, let's just try it one more time, so. Okay, so all the controls are disconnected. I'm gonna shut this thing and start to, uh, yeah, so see, so there's nothing in that little slot up there, and yeah. There's controllers that are being connected. So there you go. So see the Joy-Cons are connecting and the Switch Pro controller. And the other Pro controller didn't connect, but I bet if I put a little bit of pressure on here, it probably will. Yeah, so see, there you go. Yeah, and see both Joy-Cons are connected. So yeah, so that's, I, I guess if you don't push any pressure on it, but it just kind of worries me that maybe these things are always being pushed. Um, I don't know if that's, I don't know if that'll make these, these buttons like sticky if they're always pushed in and then maybe, you know, cause there's just like, like I've taken not these specific controllers apart, but I've taken other controllers apart, many controllers and there's just like, there's just little, uh, pieces of rubber that are underneath these buttons. Um, and they just, uh, they're just little pieces of rubber. And so I, uh, if, if they're always pushed in, I could see that rubber wearing out faster than if they're just up in a natural state, you know, and then you just push them in whenever you're playing and then they'll basically never wear out. <laughs> uh, and I don't know, that's just my assumption. But anyway, uh, if I, I, I guess I could recommend this to this, you know, if you have two pro controllers, um, and you know, Joy-Con grip, you can fit a lot of stuff in this case, not as much as my backpack, obviously. So maybe you should just go to your local thrift store like mine is the desert industries and buy a nice backpack that's where i got that and put everything in there i think i'm gonna stick with the backpack because i can fit more stuff in there and i don't have to worry about you know i just use these original cases and so i don't have to worry about you know the buttons being pushed um unless i like shake them obviously but uh uh yeah so i i think this could be good for anyone who you know has two pro controllers uh i'm personally not gonna probably keep using it because oh well, yeah that's another thing because i have to take off my my uh my my uh, crystal case every single time because it's what well, the problem is that the the joy con um the sides of the joy con that's what makes it too too thick because it's it's just way too it's pushing against you know this direction too much and so um, yeah, so that's annoying to have to take that off. And plus, I'm pretty sure I couldn't fit that in here. Well, I probably could, but yeah. Um, anyway, so that's my review on this. Uh, I don't, I, if I had, yeah, I mean, that's basically it. If you're fine with these buttons being pushed when it's shut, then yeah, then I think this is a good case. Um, yeah. Oh, and it, it costs, it currently costs $50 on Amazon. It's like $49.98 or something like that. Some weird thing. Uh, so basically $50 and so I personally don't think it's worth the price um, because I don't like these buttons being pushed but if that's fine with you then I guess that's okay um, it does have a lot of game card slots so that's nice um, yeah I don't know why anyone put their phone in here I think they just go in their pocket but yeah I think that's basically it and thank you link for joining me and Thank you, Tracy, for filming.